Staff and students at McEwen University have painted this trans and rainbow sidewalk and raised their flags in honor of Pride Month. And while it's a huge step forward, advocates are worried the United Conservative Party is about to take a huge step back. Who's going to follow up? Because we get different answers from different sides. I don't think it's a different answer. I don't think Some tense moments outside of the chamber today as Alberta Health Minister Tyler Shandro answered questions around conversion therapy in Alberta. It was revealed earlier that an NDP-led group tasked with looking at banning conversion therapy had been disbanded with the new UCP government coming in. Shandro says he hasn't specifically cancelled anything, saying that the group's mandate is finished. In my understanding, it was an ad hoc committee. It was made up of uh, members of the NDP caucus, including a member who's no longer in the, the chamber anymore. Um, but those folks, um, I'm assuming they had the mandate. It was only for five months anyway. So. The minister said he's open to hearing recommendations from the members, but when pressed on whether or not the group still exists or will be funded, he refused to answer. Is it disbanded? This is a very Thanks. yes or no question. Is it disbanded? Is it a lie? Thanks. It comes on the same day the B.C. Green Party has tabled legislation to ban conversion therapy in that province. Here in Edmonton, folks at McEwen University are gearing up for Pride Month, donning the campus with rainbow and trans colours. LGBTQ advocate Dr. Christopher Wells says he's disappointed with the news, calling it out of step with modern values. You know, conversion therapy should be something that everyone uh, understands is inappropriate, is uh, unscientific, uh, does great harm. In fact, it's been called a form of psychological torture. The health minister says that the current legislation essentially outlaws the practice as it's not a permitted medical option, but Wells says there's still a societal problem with the way some Albertans view members of the LGBTQ community. Look, in Alberta, we've had religious uh, leaders uh, compare the rainbow flag to the work of the devil. So to say that conversion therapy is not a problem or an issue in Alberta is pretty disingenuous. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.